Hammersmith, a vibrant commercial and residential hub in West London with excellent transport links, especially with its connection with central London through the Hammersmith flyover, which brings development opportunities within the area. However, it also tears apart the Hammersmith town from the riverside and creates over 500 metres of noisy, dull and unused under spaces where no one wants to pass by. So how can we bring colours and vibrance back to the area and reconnect communities? My idea is to make an intervention to emphasise community ownership under the flyover section next to the St Paul's Church, which is very close to the underground stations and car parks. There would be a democracy wall formed by colourful post it on the lower part of the pier. It serves as official decoration to brighten up the place, as well as a free and accessible platform for all to share. A discussion topic would be opened every month by local organisations to encourage people to reflect on local issues, express their views, to be inspired and interact with the rest of the community. Ultimately, it would be a socio-political art installation itself and build a sense of community ownership within the area. As for the upper part of the pier, it would be a cinema screen playing old movies and documentaries at night, taking advantage of the underspace and being spacious, dark and covered. Picnic benches will be placed across the under space for people to sit back and enjoy the movie comfortably and even have further discussions afterwards. Under chair lighting will be easily controlled by viewers to enhance the sense of security without disrupting the settings. During daytime, these benches will be used as collaborative working spaces, waiting area of the St. Paul's CE Primary School, and lunch tables as an extension of the garden next to it. To the back of the pier, the seven bollards will be acting as seven sticks in an abacus officially representing community votes on different ideas from consultations. The public will be writing their opinion on a paper wristband and wrap it over the bollard with a respective number. It would be an eye-catching public display of this statistics to attract viewers from tube stations and would be an obvious entry point of the under space. A truly vibrant place is formed by community actions instead of as objects. By changing cultural perceptions on these underspaces for being dull and boring through introducing colours and community engagement platforms, it would draw people in and unbox new ways of regenerating forgotten spaces.